We are going back out to the track at Churchill Downs with our resident funny guys, Chris Suter and Dalton Godby. They've already been talking about CD bars, tattoos. What will happen next, Gilbert? <laughs> class, just class when I think of Dalton Godby and Chris Suter. Um, but for those who don't know, I want to set the stage with a little Once Upon a Time. Of course he does. They do yeah. this little uh, race <laughs> with toy horses, and last year it looked like my horse was going to win until there was some questionable, some say illegal. Interference. Track interference by one Chris Souter who put something in the way of my horse and let Haydens cross the finish line. No, first. not Chris. So now we have a rematch. <laughs> Excuses are, are usually for folks who lost. I and, feel disparaged. That's what I'm hearing here. Yes. Uh, you are a man of great ethics, an upstanding Thank you. journalist, an upstanding Louisville citizen. Thank you very much. Many of those here today, guys, at 5.0 Tuesday at the yes. track behind us. It's been great getting to talk to um, all the people from the area who have come out here to, to enjoy the day. I had to wear my red tie for the, for the local Louisville color, sure. um, but there's a little blue in my pocket square uh -oh. for the, you know, to appease the UK fans as well. You are from UK country down there in Lincoln County. I am. I am. I but, guess we'll uh, never know which one you root for. Do you want to say? We're not going to reveal that. Okay. We won't, smart man. We won't be revealing that. Very smart yeah, man. We'll, we'll leave that up. Now, we'll get to the race yes. that Gilbert was talking about. Uh -huh. We will. But let's talk a little about what we've seen here today and some of the folks that we've talked to. That he was spreading fables about, you mean, the race. Okay. Exactly. Uh, you know... The thing that was kind of neat about today is that usually when you're here at the track on some of the bigger days like Oaks or Derby, you ask somebody where they're from, they're like, well, I'm from New York or I'm from somewhere overseas. Today, it was I'm from Louisville, and we talked to a lot of those folks about what they thought about 5-0 Tuesday. I think that it's wonderful that they introduced the idea of having one just for us. So that gives people the opportunity that may not have one otherwise to be able to come out, enjoy the festivities, see the track, have the opportunity to experience something more across the board for everyone that may not be able to otherwise. Today is Fowl Two Day, and it's a great day to you know to enact with the with the city. Yeah, yeah, and you know we deserve this. So it was pretty cool to see today. Definitely a lot of Louisville love going on here at the track. I know a lot of people will say, hey, Oaks used to be our day, or hey, Thurby used to be our day, but now it's 5-0 Tuesday. Today is the day. Yeah. And everybody seems to be proud of that. It will be, be interesting to watch over the years how this day grows. This is kind of the first year that it's been branded as Louisville's day. I'm sure they'll continue that mm -hmm. and, and continue to build on it. So it would be cool to see how big the crowd grows in a couple of years. We've got